death to Prop 208. Oh, death to Prop 208. A painful death, I think, too, because some of those teachers, man, they poured out their whole summer getting signatures. <laughs> All we are saying is give greed a chance. All we are saying is give greed a chance. It's yeah. a nice shell game, and it's rigged for us. Even some of the representatives we own in there make money off of the, pub, the charter school, so big money. We, we did invest in 2020 elections, uh, Kate Brophy McGee. Good investment for uh, profiting on education. But unfortunately, Christine Marsh is now a senator in that seat. And uh, maybe another million at Cape Rofe McGee, and we would have been able to help keep some of those that uh, teacher of the year ideas out of the out of the state senate. Exactly. And that, that teacher attitude. <laughs> it's uh, spunky, but not profitable. No, not at all. Mesnard, he did our he did us a solid with that. Uh, you know, the, the uh, sending us the tax cut and the, oh, yeah. the vouchers. Uh, we're going to really find a way to profit on schools even more than we already have been. Yeah, I'm glad we bought Mesnard. He was the, a really good investment for us and mm -hmm. we need to keep on buying the key people that's gonna keep us in power and right. keep, us, keep doing what we need them to do to keep us rich. And look at Paul Boyer, a teacher, but he still knows that we need our tax cuts oh, yeah. more than the schools need our money. <laughs> right. <laughs> so yeah, we, we are definitely doing the right thing here in Arizona and that's why we're excited. We're, very we're celebrating, we're having champagne, we're having very expensive caviar. Very expensive caviar. Because we are really ready to, to make, in one year of tax savings, what these greedy teachers are making in a whole year also. But we can do it just by buying the legislature, getting the Senate to send over a great bill, and then the House saying, yes, we want that bill too. Fat, Fat cats love the flat tax. Fat cats love the flat tax. Fat cats love the flat tax.